What's up guys, just back with another video. So I've been hearing a lot of chatter about, you know, will Justin Trudeau resign? He made these comments the other day in a French interview where he said, you know, I think about quitting every day and something about being bored and just whatever. Now, a lot of people think that because he's saying this and that because he seems frustrated and he's overwhelmed that he's going to somehow resign. Well, let me tell you something. That's never going to happen. You know why? Because he's a narcissist. Narcissists do not give up. They do not resign. They continue to fight and they will scratch and claw even though it's a losing cause, but that's what they do. So if, you're, if your hopes are that Justin Trudeau is going to resign or somehow call an election, I have some bad news for you. That's not going to happen. He wants to battle Pierre Paul. Yeah, he's made it very clear. And in a fair and free election, which is hopefully what we have, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, you're already making excuses because the, the, for the conservatives to lose. How can the conservatives lose? They have a 20 or plus almost a 20 point lead in the polls. I know polls don't vote, people do, but who the hell, I don't know very many people who like the liberals. I know a lot of people like the NDP, I, again, I live in Hamilton, it's this NDP cesspool. I'm surrounded by these people, it's insane. But even then, there's still more and more people with the F. Trudeau flags. There's still a lot of people with, you know, who are, you know, saying things like, well, I was liberal, and I kind of am still liberal, but I'm voting for Pierre Polyev yeah, because he, stand, he seems to be the only one who wants to stand with Canada and actually help and make our middle class prosperous again, make affordable housing again, using our resources like Kevin O'Leary has brought up. And we have a very, very rich pool of natural resources that we can use, and we're not. We can get rid of the taxes. So all these people are just, they're like, you know what, I'm, I'm done with the liberals. I'm going to go with, with the conservatives. And now that Justin Trudeau's polling numbers are, I mean, they're, they've gone up a little bit in the, the last poll. I think he was up two points, but he's he hasn't hit past 25 points in, in a long time. And Pierre Polyev and the conservatives are hovering right around that 38 to 42, like in between there. I mean, that's, that's going to be a massacre of an election, not just a conservative win, but a majority. Like you're talking 200 seats here. So even if the Liberals and the, and the NDP want to get another coalition and try to work against the Conservatives, it's not going to work. There's going to be too many seats for the Conservatives. Justin Trudeau knows this. So surely he's going to come up with some sort of strategy to try to trick Canadians into voting for him again. I've said this before in a past video, it's likely going to be some sort of universal basic income program. Hey guys, I'm going to give you $2,000 a month, but then taxes are going to go up $2,500 a month. Right, because due to when it, when it comes to liberal math, if they give you to say two thousand dollars, but they tax you twenty five hundred dollars, in their silly little minds, you've come out ahead. Right, which is their whole argument with the carbon tax, which is bullshit. The but the um, the um, the the parliamentary budget officer has said multiple times now that Cana the most Canadians are not coming out ahead of this rebate. They're getting taxed to death, and we're getting some of the money back. Not all of it. But yet, Chrystia Freeland and Justin Trudeau just continue to lie out of their teeth and just say that Canadians are doing well and we're getting, we're giving them more money than we're taking. No, you're not. You're not giving them more money than you're taking. If you were doing, if you were giving us more money than you were taking, why wouldn't you just stop taking the money? Cut the taxes and cut the rebates, and why have all these pointless transactions? Because they know they're screwing Canadians. They know it's a tax, they know it's a, a cash grab, rather. But again, if you have a feeble little liberal mind, you're going to believe it. When they, when they compare Pierre Paul, you have to Donald Trump, you're going to believe it. This is ridiculous. Makes no sense. But what I'm telling, my main point of this video is to, to assure you guys that Justin Trudeau is not going anywhere until either the NDP wakes up and decides to vote with, with the Conservatives on a non-confidence vote, or we got to wait until 2020, uh, 2025. And by the way, I'm talking about late 2025. So, I mean, there's a lot more damage that's going to be done in that time. Hopefully we can recover and we can get out of this, but... 
You know, if, if your hope is that Justin Trudeau is just going to resign and just, you know, bow down and say, okay, I admit, I admit defeat. Not in a million years.